Afar, it smells very really disgusting. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Scarlet Cool. Um, it's gonna be odd because I actually filmed a video before this one, but I haven't edited it and posted it, so it's gonna be like a big barrier of time. And then I just post a video and I don't say anything. But I've been away, <laughs> which is why I'm saying that. Just acknowledging that um, I'm fine now. I just like struggled a bit with my new medication, but actually I think my new medication is working, so I feel a lot better. Anyway, just closing that parenthesis. Today we're gonna do another episode in the Palette Infinity series uh, around the Arcana palette from Shroud Cosmetics. As I explained last time, this is probably gonna be the last episode for a while. I'll probably go back to this palette eventually because that's kind of the concept of Palette Infinity. It's just I want to, I think my idea is to do a bit similar to Palette Potential from Adelaide, which is to like kind of try every single shade in a palette and uh, then kind of like give an overall opinion about. But then I will come back to it because that's kind of how I visualize this series, if that makes sense. So yeah, we're gonna play with the last shade I haven't touched in this palette. Uh, and then we're gonna move on to other palettes and different realms of colors and stories. <laughs> Before we get started, if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Celeste. I love cruelty free makeup, skincare, and medications that actually work, including antidepressants. I think that's quite nice and neat. So, if you're interested in any of these topics, hobbies, whatever you want to call them, then consider subscribing for more similar content. I would love to have you here. I will highly appreciate it. And let's get started. <laughs> it's gonna be odd, I think, because it would, like, considering how many ch things have changed <laughs> in my appearance, you might feel like it's been more than a month. <laughs> I haven't, I've just done it all in you know, like a month and a half. But I got a tattoo here. I changed this jewelry yesterday. I'm still getting used to it and I'm not sure how to place it. I think it makes me realize how not straight my nose is, but I mean, Am I straight? I'm not, so who cares? <laughs> and I also got my head shaved. I think it's been like a few weeks now. Uh, so yeah, just acknowledging this changes. You're not crazy. I changed. We all change. Sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse, hopefully for the better. I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> cool. So obviously the shades we haven't touched in this palette are the blues. So we've got Shroud, which is the name of the company. It appears very dark on the eye, like a lot darker than the pan. So I do struggle using it just because it's so dark, but I mean, a lot of this palette is, so it's kind of difficult when you have not a lot of real estate up in your eyes to play with dark shades, I find, at least for me. Well, maybe I'm not really skilled. Anyway, we've got Mystic, which is this beautiful sapphire blue shimmer. My plan is to do like a contrasting overall makeup look. So very warm peachy uh, blush uh, on the face uh, and kind of blue cool tone eye look because I think blue and like peach is like a classic people do. I think it looks pretty stunning because it's very nice and contrasting. And um, cool, let's uh, do this. If that sounds like a plan to you. Let me prime my eyes and face. So tell me, I never asked that, but I'd quite like to read about that. Tell me what's going on with your life. What's up? I think it's a shame I don't really talk, like let people talk more about how they're feeling and stuff. So feel free to share whatever you want to share in the comment. As I said in the intro, for me, I started that new medication. I just was so unmotivated. Which usually sure happens with antidepressants for me each time I start them. I think it's the body is adjusting to having so much serotonin, and it's kind of like, because serotonin is kind of the hormone of you don't care. Also, I've been told. <clears throat> so that's why you kind of like feel like uninterested in everything, which is kind of annoying when you have depression already because it's like, but that's why I take the medication for. <laughs> But actually I feel better now. So I'm hoping I will be motivated enough to like start editing again and posting again. I think it'd be nice because 
uh, I still need to have a purpose in life, you know. Got my first tattoo, which is a lot more painful than I thought it was gonna be. You're a whole bunch of liars. It's just like that. Some people are like, oh no, it didn't really hurt. It's like, really? <laughs> it didn't hurt? I know like pain is like different for people, but like, I mean, I'm pretty sure that getting your skin stabbed a thousand times a second by a fucking needle is gonna be painful for anyone. <laughs> anyway, I didn't get like, I go in like a not a painful area, that's the worst part. I'm kind of like, what? That's so funny. When she started tattooing, <laughs> my mind went directly to a place of like, hmm. Do you really want to do this? <laughs> That's kind of like, I was already picturing of like, because before I was like, oh, I want to get covered in tattoos, I think they're so cool. And <laughs> after that, I was like, maybe one is good. <laughs> and now I'm kind of want to go back to it. I'm like, what the f <laughs> Do you never know? I'm gonna pick up a uh, shroud, which is the blue, on like a fluffy, 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 blending brush. I'm just gonna kind of pack that more in the center part. I'm gonna go quite low. I'm gonna try and go into the crease. I think I'm quite happy with that. Now we're gonna start working on the liner. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a kind of a very dark base because I think it will look very cool with the blue on top to kind of create a base to help me also create the shape. I'm gonna use the KVD Super Brow Pomade, which I'm meant to be used as well as liners. And they're very good. I think they're very, very good gel liners. Uh, you can't really smudge them, that's the only thing. You want to only use it for like real full on liner, but I think they're fantastic for that. And this is a color walnut, which is a very dark, cool tone brown. <clears throat> and I'm gonna take a liner brush and we're gonna create a wing together. I'm going to finish this off camera because I'm going to get really close to <clears> the <throat> mirror to kind of see what I'm doing. So I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> oh, sorry. So that's what I've done. I kind of uh, adjusted because there was a gap between the liner and the blue. I want them to kind of come together. So come together. Uh, <laughs> so now what we're going to do is we're going to pick up some glitter primer and we're going to use that to pick up the shimmer and create wing. I've done that before on my channel, uh, but it was in the French video. So, so um, I like using black as a base because it helps me know where I'm going, but it's also, again, tip from Betagin. I really like the look of, I think it, it transforms a bit the shimmer, it creates a different dimension. So I think it looks really cool on top of that because a wing needs to create dimension. I find that shimmers are a bit difficult to create dimension with. So having that kind of darker base makes it look less weird when the shine goes through the shimmer, if that makes sense. Uh, that's maybe just a me thing, but anyway. So I pick up some glitter primer on the same brush I used for the liner. And I'm just gonna place that on top of the wing. So it doesn't look like anything, but now the base is very sticky and now I can use the same brush that is very sticky too, to pick up the shimmer and then place it all over the wing. Where it kind of looks like a dark, it kind of creates a dual chrominess too, which I think looks really, really cool. I think I'm gonna do that more often. Where you got like that brown base, but then when, when you hit the light with the correct angle, you get that blue reflect, which I think makes it look really good. If I'm gonna pack a little bit more blue, and then we're gonna cut that crease, you know? Cool. I'm gonna pick up this random packing brush, pick up some more clear primer, and then I'm gonna start the finer shape. I'm gonna basically stop wherever the wing kind of like, my crease goes like this, the wing goes like this, Wherever they mate, that's where I stop the cut crease. Does that make sense? And now I'm gonna pick up. Should I pick up familiar on the same sticky brush? Cool, I think it looks quite cool. 
I'm just gonna go back to Mystique, the Sapphire Blue shade. I'm just gonna redefine because I kind of overlapped on it. And now I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and just go around the edges because I, I just want to blend this. I'm basically passing this through my brows to help blend the edges. I quite like this, it looks a bit different from what I usually do. Um, I'm gonna repeat that on the other eye, throw on some lashes and some face makeup and then I'm doing you to finish up the look. I lied, I didn't put on lashes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I went a bit crazy with the freckles, so ignore that. It'll be fine once I put on blush, I think. Or maybe I'm just in denial. <laughs> These wings, by the way, are in no way related. Maybe they are. Like a stepsister would be. Awesome. So, what we're gonna do next is uh, finish up the eye. I think I'd quite like to do like a two tone look, so I might pick up some alter because I think it would be a nice contrast with the blue. Does that sound okay? I don't know. But what I might do first is blend out some entity that yellow. I mean, is there a single look where I haven't used it? It's a fantastic yellow. So I'm gonna pick up a brown pencil liner. This is Urban Decay Demolition from the Glidon Eye Pencil. I'm just gonna run that on the outside and then kind of smudge it with a little bit of orange. It's just to kind of create kind of link together that wing into this. Um, then I'm gonna put on some of the gel liner and a little bit of the blue. It's just to kind of help them blend, if that makes sense. It's gonna mix, it's gonna, I'm, I'm sure it's gonna work, I think. Cool, so what I've done, what I ended up doing is running a little bit more of that pencil just under where my wing is and then I used the orange to kind of smudge it. The idea is to kind of help connect and create depth into like the wing. And now we're gonna use my liner brush. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of my uh, KVD pomade. I'm just gonna kind of connect the wing with the bottom. A tiny bit more of the glow glue. I'm just gonna pick up the blue and just go over the wing to kind of complete this. What we have left to do is Blend a little more of Entity, the yellow, to blend that orange a bit better. I think that'd be it for the eye makeup. That's a bit more intense than I had planned, but I mean, that blue just gets everywhere. I think it looks really cool though. Um, cool. Uh, let's do some face makeup. Uh, so, I forgot to do my bronzer actually. I'll just do that real quick. Uh, bronzer is done and now what I'm going to do is some blush. I'm gonna use a peachy blush. This is my only peachy blush actually. Uh, this is from Kaleidos. This is the Lo-Fi Duo blusher in the peach color obviously. This is discontinued but uh, any peachy blush would work obviously. The way I'm gonna apply the blush is I'm gonna actually do it more in the center rather than like on the outside, which is what I do. So I'm gonna start from the nose. Uh, let's do some highlighter. I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use a Kaleidos highlighter. Sorry, got this huge <laughs> So these are all my Kaleidos highlighter. They're gonna wear a bit crazy after I will bite the box. Also, I would actually bought a lot of them. Not all of them. So my biggest candidates are um, either a blue highlighter going into either Skywalker or a Moon Cruiser. It's definitely blue, but it definitely has also a fuchsia kind of shine. I don't know if you can see on camera because it's more of that your chrominess. But from that angle, it looks like a pink highlighter for me. And then if I look like this, it's blue. Skywalker is more of a classic uh, light blue. Skywalker on the bottom, Moon Cruiser at the top. And the other one I have, to my... I think it might be too many colors if I use it. Another color I thought of is Mars Melter because I've never used it yet. It's kind of a red with a gold shift. It's definitely very red, which I don't know if it will work with this. 
I don't know, I feel like my face is quite already heavily, like there's a lot going on. So maybe I should, shouldn't should add too many colors. And maybe go with a pink. So I could go with Start Cypher from Kaleidos. Because it looks kind of similar to that shade, the um, familiar shimmer I used. I think that would make sense actually. I think I'm gonna do that. So picking up Star Surfer, like where my cheekbones are. And to complete everything, I'm just gonna use a blusher topper, which is like a, basically, I just use like a shimmery blush. I'm just gonna use that with my blush brush and use it to emphasize and merge together the blush and the highlighter. So I just go over wherever I use blush and highlighter, basically. i just use some also on my chin, because why not? Trying that out recently. I think she's ready to be sprayed down. I'm gonna do that. Do the lashes for real this time with the mascara and all that. And we're gonna get together to do the lip, as usual. And voila, lashes are on. These are um, iconic from House of Lashes. Cool, let's do a lip. I think I want to wear a gloss today. As I brought like three different glosses, all from Kaleidos, because I couldn't decide which one to put on. This warm, a peachy one, which I love. This is uh, Dramatize. I thought by using this fuchsia one, which is called Hypnotize. This transparent one with blue sparkle, I think I'm gonna use that one just because I feel like, again, I don't want to bring too many colors. It's, there's already a lot going on, so I feel like it makes sense to use that. I'm gonna line my lip with the next Slim Lip Pencil in New Truffle. And then topping up with a gloss. This is Crystallize from Kaleidos. I think it, it's not available anymore, which is a shame because I love this gloss so much. I love the Kaleidos formula. It's pretty much the only gloss I like, actually. Cool, that's the look finished. I think it looks really cool, actually, even though there's a lot going on. I really like that shape. I think it's nice to experiment with new shapes because I feel like I've been kind of not doing that as much, so I really like the fact that I created that more kind of wing shape. I like to do more kind of structured shapes instead of like really, really blended. So I really, really like this look. I think it's a good like introduction to that. I think it would have been more successful if I went down the full cool tone road, but I'm still happy with it. I think it looks really, really cool. I think we touch pretty much every shade, if I'm not mistaken, in this palette. I feel like I have more experience to be able to kind of give them full on more kind of my own opinion on the uh, palette. Overall, I think it's a beautiful muted uh, palette. It's a nice addition to my collection because I didn't have any kind of dual tone colors like emerald, you know, emerald green, uh, sapphire blue, more of a ruby red color. So I think this is really nice. The formula is absolutely stunning. Uh, like the metallics are nothing incredibly special, but they are beautiful metallic, very smooth to apply with a nice sparkle to it. Not crazy dual chrome or crazy like shimmery sparkly shades, but I like that because I find that sometimes we get lost into these like all shimmery shades which are not the most opaque and these are beautifully opaque so you can really get a beautiful like application. The mattes, this is probably my favorite uh, matte formula ever. I just really, really love this formula. It's just so blendable and so pigmented. You can really pack on the color to get an opaque application and really get the color the way they are in the pan. And I really like the fact that all these mattes are very kind of muted. My kind of critique when it comes to the palette is that's pretty more of a me problem, but I like my transition shade. And I feel like this is where this palette is a little bit difficult to work with for someone like me who maybe likes having something like, I like my deep colors, but I really like having some light shades to help blend everything. I find this palette 
lacks that, if that makes sense. So I find that there is this yellow, which is uh, mostly what I've used every single time as a transition shade. But fortunately, I feel like that's the only thing you can use and maybe alter if you're going into that warm road. But anything on the cool tone side, that's where I struggle the most. I feel like it's where it's a bit lacking because the blue and the green are so deep in color that it can either turn into a mess real quick or an extremely grungy look, which I do like, but I like being able to blend because I don't have a lot of space on my eyelid. And at the same time, where I struggle a little bit is I find sometimes I don't have shades to deepen up other shades and kind of create that dimension in my eye because it's such a colorful palette with loads of different tones. And I find that brown is not deep enough to do that. So it's kind of an in-between shade where I feel like I find it difficult to use on its own as a blending shade compared to the yellow, but at the same time, it's not deep enough to deepen up and create dimension, which I think is kind of a shame. Even though I do really love that combo of Entity and Relic, which I did in the first look, I think this is really beautiful because they just kind of that similar tone and I think it works well together. What I'd like to try is maybe using uh, Darkling, the green, as a deepening shade at some point to see if I can create more of that dimension, that one. But yeah, I feel like that's where I find the palette a bit limited, I think. And I'm looking forward to seeing more of that, trying to explore more of the looks I can create. Since there's so many colors going on in both metallics and mattes, I find that there's no that versatility which I really like in my palette. It doesn't mean it's bad in any way. It really comes down to preferences in your color story. I do like having a bit of uh, versatility because I find that that's where I get more creative, where I feel like I find it a bit more difficult being creative with this palette despite this beautiful color story, just because it's kind of like, you got two blues, you got two yellows, you got two green. Does that make sense? I think you need to be extremely creative and inventive if you want to be able to uh, create more than a monotone look. I think that's where it's a bit difficult for me because you can't really deepen and help transition colors together and create more uh, different looks. I don't know if that makes sense. Basically, I'm thinking that if you're doing, for example, a cut crease, for example, a contrasting shimmer to the matte in the crease, you don't really have a shade to help transition that matte outside into the shimmer, or you end up having to have to do this look, which is kind of a, I didn't really blend the shimmer anywhere. Like if I'm going somewhere or if I'm just bringing that palette, I feel like I, there's only so many looks I can easily create, unless I bring something else, another palette, single shadows to help with that. Besides that, it's a fantastic palette. I think the color story is absolutely stunning. It's just that I think I'd like to try and see if I can do more with it if I bring another palette in it or just some single shadows like a black. To kind of complete uh, my kind of critique, I think what would have helped for this palette is maybe have another transition lighter shade on that side. Maybe for example, the blue. I think that that would have been nice. And on this side, maybe we could have a bit more deepness. Deepness? Depth. On the other hand, because of how deep and colorful and uh, pigmented the shadows are, I think this is a palette that will work pretty much across all skin tone, which I think is a very positive thing because a lot of palette tends to focus on me, white people. So, I think that's something to be noted and appreciated. I think that's everything for this video. Please let me know what you thought about this look, if you enjoyed it as much as I did. I think it looks fabulous, but I'd like to know what you thought, think about it. Before I leave you, uh, if you want to support me and my channel, you can give this video a like, you can comment, an engagement helps me gain visibility in the YouTube algorithm and that's always appreciated. If you don't know what comment to leave, but you still want to support me, you can leave a comment with this emoji and I thank you very much for your effort. Thank you so so much for watching and I hope to see you very very soon. Take care of yourself. Bye bye. Mm.